Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, the Holistic Health Boss, your functional diagnostic health practitioner and expert. And in this video, I want to help you figure out what diet is right for your body so that you can feel your best. Now, do you know what diet is right for your body already? I bet you don't. Do you ever feel overwhelmed or confused about all the diet info circulating the internet? Are you also tired of feeling bloated, low on energy, or not losing weight no matter what you eat? Have you tried eating paleo, keto, AIP, Whole30, vegan, or another type of diet but didn't get the results that you were hoping for? These are some of the same questions and frustrations my clients also have when they start working with me. The first thing that we focus on in our work together is figuring out what diet is right for their body so they can feel their best. And I want to help you figure this out too. Naturally, you will feel more uplifted, motivated, energetic, and lean when you're eating a diet that is right for your body. And when you feel this way, making food choices that are in alignment with your health goals and how you want to feel becomes second nature. There's no question or challenge about it. The truth is you are unique and therefore your diet should be too. This concept is grossly overlooked when trying to figure out what diet is right for you, but it's the most important one because what works for one person does not necessarily work for everyone. I mean, how many times have you felt frustrated about a diet because you've compared yourself to others who are getting results from the same diet you're doing, even though you're not? Here are some big reasons why your dieting efforts might not be working out for you. You're eating maybe the wrong ratios of protein, carbs, and fats for your body. You may have not so obvious food sensitivities or intolerances causing inflammation. You could have underlying hormone imbalances preventing your diet from being effective. Your digestive system is a disaster resulting in poor nutrient absorption and overall bodily function. Simply changing your diet without understanding what diet is right for you won't help you get to the bottom of these bigger result blocking issues. But when you do know what diet is right for you, it can help to resolve food sensitivities, hormone imbalances, digestive dysfunction, and ultimately help you get your energy back, lose weight, sleep great, and feel like yourself again. So that's why in this video, I'm going to specifically help you figure out what diet is right for your body so that you can back, get back to feeling like yourself again, or maybe for the very first time in your life. And these things that I'm going to share with you have also worked not only for my clients, but for me personally as well. Now, the number one reason why most dietary approaches don't work for people like you is that you're usually eating the wrong ratios of protein, carbs, and fats for your body. When you eat the wrong ratios of protein, carbs, and fats for your body, it can leave you feeling tired, anxious, irritable, or needing to take a nap. You might also want to snack all the time, your stomach feels heavy, or you may have cravings. You might feel brain foggy, wired but tired, or physically full and still hungry. These are all signs that your ratios are off, your blood sugar is likely not balanced as a result, and the nutrients in the food you ate were inadequate. Now, aside from the keto diet, most dietary approaches don't actually address the ratios of protein, carbs, or fats that you should be considering for each meal or throughout the day. And the ratios associated with keto definitely aren't right for everyone, especially if you have a thyroid or other type of hormone imbalance. Now, most diets fall into what's called an elimination diet approach, telling you what foods to avoid and what foods are considered okay to eat. For example, 
Paleo and Whole30 diets promote eating whole, unprocessed animal and plant foods, and they avoid processed foods such as sugar, dairy, grains, and soy. The autoimmune paleo, or also known as AIP diet, adds another layer of elimination to paleo by also excluding foods that contain lectins, such as eggs, nuts, seeds, beans, and nightshade vegetables. But all of these diets are non-specific in the regards to the ratio of protein, carbs, or fats that you should be eating in each meal. Vegan or vegetarian diets are also based on elimination. They exclude certain animal products, but don't address food ratios. And as a vegan or vegetarian, you might need a higher ratio of protein source from plants to feel your best, but you probably don't hear many people talk about this. So to sum it up, an elimination diet alone won't typically get you the results that you're looking for. However, elimination diets do provide a great foundation to help you figure out what diet is right for you. Elimination diets help you to avoid foods that are commonly causing inflammation, such as processed foods, grains, dairy, sugar, soy, or those that contain lectins. Implementing an elimination diet to reduce inflammation means that you're taking one big step in the right direction. The next big step to figure out what diet is right for you requires dialing in your ratios of protein, carbs, and fats so your body can get the fuel that it needs to function at its potential. When you're eating the right ratio of protein, carbs, and fats per meal, you will be able to go anywhere from three to five hours or more without feeling hungry. You'll have energy for hours and feel recharged. You'll be able to think clearly, feel uplifted, and be more positive in general. You can use the elimination diet of your choice as a guide to create a clear list of foods that you can eat and those that you should avoid. Then take it one step further by customizing the ratio of protein, carbs, and fats included in each meal so that you can ultimately feel your best. Figuring out your food ratios is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is tune into your body about 30 minutes to two hours after eating, Notice how it's responding to what it is that you just ate, and then adjust your food ratios until you get the perfect response. If dialing in your food ratios while following an elimination style diet doesn't get you the results that you're looking for, then it's clear that you need to investigate those other underlying factors to find the right diet for you, such as food sensitivities or intolerances that are causing inflammation, those underlying hormone imbalances that might be preventing your diet from being effective, as well as digestive dysfunction resulting in poor nutrient absorption and ultimately then bodily function. Now, dialing in my food, ra uh, food ratios, like I said, has been a game changer for me and my clients too. And I would love to hear how dialing in your food ratios changes the game for you as well. So go ahead and check out the link below to download my food and body language log and log six to 10 meals for food ratio feedback and then send me a message or a comment to let me know what you discover about the right diet for you. All right, I hope you found this incredibly helpful. I'll see you in the next video.